ไม่มีสัตว์ก็And sorcery, any form of demon spirit that came after him, because he knew the God that he served. When he called in that name, the God that he serves answers. Tell the neighbor, my God answers. He answers by fire. He answers by water. He answers by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Somebody, he answers. If you're not ashamed of his name, if you're not afraid of your enemy, he's gonna answer you. Tell the neighbor, he's gonna answer you. He's gonna answer you. Telling the God that you serve, it's gonna answer. Jesus is going to answer you. Amen, somebody. Amen. Do not be afraid of your enemies and living amongst you, whether it be in your home, your neighbors, your family. Amen, somebody. Whoever will come against you, do not be afraid. Do not be ashamed. The name of Jesus is a book. Every other name, it might be in the workplace, it might be in your finances. Do not be afraid. If the Lord This Elijah that stood up and said, Let's see today whose God is God and call fire from heaven yeah. and destroy the false prophets of Baal. Let's look at what happened in, now in, in chapter 19. Let's read together tonight. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. And with all how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Amen, somebody. Amen. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me. More also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow at this time. Amen, Samad. Amen. Amen, Samad. You got to understand that Jezebel was after all the true prophets of God. Amen, Amen Samad. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, if you are here, 
Yes. And you are standing for God. Yes. And you are standing for righteousness. Satan is going to threaten you. Yes. Satan is going to come after you. He's going to send storms in your life. He's going to send battles in your life. He's going to send trials in your life. He's going to send tribulations in your life. He's going to send strongholds in your life. He's going to send Goliaths in your life. He's going to send Jezebels in your life. He's going to send someone that have a great roar. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. That look at your powerful. Someone that can threaten you. Someone that can intimidate you. Someone that can put fear in you. Amen, somebody. He's going to send a challenge to you. That can seem hope in your life. How many of you tonight are facing challenges in your life that seems to be hopeless? Lift your hands tonight. Lift your hands if you are facing challenges and it seems to be hopeless and nothing happening, nothing changing and the battle is getting worse. Amen somebody. Amen somebody. Elijah just came out of a great battle. Amen somebody. But Elijah knew that this woman Amen was destroying all the true prophets of and he knew he was a true prophet, but he was afraid because there were other prophets, amen, that were of God, that she went to and they were slain with their swords. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Tell the neighbor, said, if you are if you're not feeling threatened, you are a child of God. You are a child of God. If something in your life is not threatening you. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Then, then Satan is looking at you and saying, listen to me. You are on my side. Amen, somebody. Satan is going to threaten you. If your car is bringing in the bread for your home, is going to shut down. Amen. Amen. You're working with my boss and doing everything. Amen, somebody. The boss just don't like you. Amen, somebody. You're working hard, they can't see where the money going. I said, Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Health issues just coming upon your body one after the other. You do not know what's happening to you. If Satan is not threatening you, Amen, somebody. Then you do not belong to the house of God. But if you belong to the house of God, if you belong to Jesus, if you belong to the kingdom of God, Satan is going to threaten you. He's going to come after you. That's why God gave you power. It is the fight, it is the two battle. That's why He gives you an armor. It is the two battle. That's why He gives you faith. That's why He gives you hope. That's why He strengthens you. Amen, somebody. That you might overcome and be a conqueror. Amen, somebody. He has given you an armor to confront and conquer your enemies. Yeah. Elijah just passed one test, but the next test coming. And a test to intimidate him. He was intimidated with the 400. But he was intimidated with one witch. The so Jezebel was a witch. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. She wasn't just a normal woman. She was a witch. She had King Ahab under her control. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. And these false prophets have power. They show their pagan gods. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. They did their blood sacrifices. Amen, somebody. Amen. They had their con their contrary spirits. Amen, somebody. Amen. And they were able to deceive Israel. Amen, someone. Because the children of Israel lost their connection with God. And if you have lost your connection with God, you're going to be deceived in this time. The Bible said many false prophets shall arise and show great signs and wonders in the heavens. Amen, somebody. And many shall come in, in, in his name. And some will say, I am the Christ. And there is the Christ. And he said, do not believe them. Amen, somebody. You know why? Because amen, people don't want a prophet in this time. will look at them like John the Baptist and say, you, you are done to are living with your brother's wife. Repent! Amen. 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 Yeah. The prophet could come and tell them, Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. The word of prophet come and tell them, I see somebody trying to take away the woman that they're living with, even though it's not your wife. Amen. 
And they rather believe that. Amen. And a prophet of God, God said, I said, you're living with your brother's wife. Come out of that type of abomination. And get paid. Amen, somebody. See, the spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Jesus, is not the testimony of your things. That's right. That's right. It's not a testimony of. I see a dark, short man in your life. <laughs> and he has a sister. A little taller than him. Yes, I get in the name. His name is Jacob. Is that true? Amen. And as he say that name, yes, from the God. Amen. 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 Am
I'm doing the same thing, but they're not pointing it to Jesus. They're not pointing it to salvation. They're not telling to repent. Amen, somebody. They're not telling that Jesus is coming again as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and He's coming to, to judge the living and the dead, and you've got to be ready. And if your life is not right, and you're not ready, you are under the curse of God. You are under the judgment of God. Amen, somebody. For the wrath of God is revealed to you against all. Amen, somebody. Unrighteousness, unholiness, those who hold the truth in unrighteousness. This week I was talking to a brother. I said, brother, if you continue eating like that, you're going to get sick. I say, oh, be I say, if you continue to sleep, you're going to get sick. You're going to end up in any hospital. You're going to suffer with diabetes and high cholesterol. But I said, prophet, don't, don't tell me that speak of good rule over that. <laughs> Immediately the Holy Ghost tell me, he said, that's how all this God's people is right now. They want to do the wrong thing and they want a good word from God. Yes, man. Immediately the Holy Ghost speak to me. He said, that's how my people is right now. That's how their mind is. They'll keep doing the wrong things and they want to hear good news from heaven. Yes. You cannot do wrong things. I want to hear good news from heaven. The Bible is the people that are called by my name shall humble themselves. And do what? And do what? And do what? Then you will what? Then you will hear from heaven. Yeah. Oh. Amen. 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 The people of this time, the moment you begin to speak about the wrongs that they are doing and where they are headed, the first thing you do is you're judging me. Amen. Amen. But then the proof and the fact is in what you are doing. Yeah. And the definition of being mad is doing the same thing over and over and want a different result in your life. You cannot keep doing the same things over and over and want a different result and think God is going to bless that and God is going to change that. God is not in that. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 How does grace come? How does grace come? Everybody claim that they're under grace. Dispensation of grace. How does grace come? How do we receive grace? Does the person who doesn't believe in the word of God, is he under grace? So then grace comes by repentance. I am not walking in grace if I have not repented. Go ahead. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Jesus said, before you enter the kingdom of God, you must first be born again. If you are born again, you are under God's grace. Amen, somebody. Amen. Somebody who get quiet tonight. The Bible says Jesus brought grace and truth. Amen. Should, amen, somebody. Grace cannot operate where there is no truth. Amen. The grace of God will not operate where there is no truth. Amen, Amen someone. Amen. And we fill all these big churches to hear lies that will comfort us in our sins. Amen, Amen someone. Amen. 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 That's what we do. They are preaching to us lies. And deception because God's people themselves do not know God's word because they are not forming a relationship with Him and they are not receiving and hearing from God. Amen. So they cannot discern the truth of His word. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Let's just take it up for the Lord for that. Even today, Elijah got intimidated. Elijah got intimidated. He got afraid. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Let's see what happened here. Amen, somebody. And when he saw that, he arose. When he what? 
when he saw that he arose was his feet and went for his life. You know, he ran for his life. Yeah. Amen, somebody. What he did? He ran for his life. Yeah. The mighty prophet of God, Elijah, began to run for his life. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. This Elijah who called fire from heaven, who shut up the heavens, no rain for three and a half years, commanded farming over all of Israel. Amen. Come on. When he saw that, he arose and went for his life and came to Bathsheba, which belonged to Judea, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree and he requested for himself that he might die. Many of us, when we become intimidated by the enemy, we become fearful. We feel, start to feel hopeless. Anxiety start to take over. Depression start to take over. Oh Lord, my high will go through this better and take my life. Amen. I'm ready to go to heaven, Father. I'm ready to Amen. be with you. Come on. Instead of saying, Prophet, I want to hear the song, Heaven Song the Sweet. <laughs> Amen. Seems like the living. Lord is always on my mind. Amen. The Bible said Elijah got himself in that place. Yeah. Come on. Our great prophet Elijah. He got depressed, he was ready to die. Amen. I can't take this pain, I can't take this sickness, I can't take this tabanka. Right. <laughs> you pass him by the hand when you price in how much is it gonna <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Some of you putting on the Indian movie looking for some notebook, something, so I don't watch it and so I don't cry. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Look for all the romantic music and, and, and say, if the loving you is wrong, I don't want it to be right. <laughs>
Glory. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. And what the Bible said, but he himself went in this journey into the wilderness. Amen. The devil said, are you in the wilderness right now? Are you running from some problems, some situations, some pain, some hurt? Amen. When it's fair operating for the window wilderness, now when in the wilderness, not going to walk, kind of food, that'll help. And we have strong illusions. Somewhat illusions. Oh, it looks like water appearing here, but have no water. You're walking and you're seeing this river. And you keep walking and walking and walking. Amen. And no river, no water. No food. Amen. Because in the wilderness, only heat is not hallucinating, only the heat upon you. Is that a sea thing that is not there? Is that a sea thing that does not exist? Is that the sea people doing this and doing that? And it's not real. Is that a feel like this one against you, but it's not real? You know why you're living in fear? It's tormenting you. Amen, someone. Yeah. Sometimes people have their own problem and maybe you see it there because they're so depressed and worried. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And then instead of you go and ask the brother and sister, what's wrong? Something wrong? Something bothering you? You go to the next brother and sister. I know them never like me. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Amen. 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 Come on. I know them always have something against me. Amen. Is that when you go to them and say, brother, sister, what's wrong? Something bothering me? Oh, yeah. That's fear. Amen. 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 Fear. Torment. Amen, someone. Amen. Amen, someone. Amen. Amen. The Bible says for the righteous, it's as bold as a lion. As wise as a serpent. And as harmless as a dove. Amen, someone. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Great. Come on, let's read. Let's read. Verses 5. And as he lay and slept on the juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. Yeah. Now let's, let's look at that. The Bible said the angel was still coming and talking to him and ministering to him. But he still didn't have the victory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Because you know your attitude determines your victory. Yes. Yeah. The anointing of God can be with you. The presence of God can be with you. Angels can be around you, but your attitude Amen. determines your victory. Let me say your attitude determines your victory, your strength. If it's God will release in your life. Because Elijah's attitude changed. God called him to be a man of God that will stand for righteousness, to be fearless, to be bold, to be not afraid of anything and nobody. The same Elijah, listen, amen somebody, when King Ahab sent out, amen, amen somebody, armies after him, amen, and they said, I you the, the man of God, the prophet of God, Elijah. Amen. Oh, Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And they came and, and, and disrespectful manner before him. Then Elijah said, Well, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume all of you. The Bible said immediately fire came down and consumed them. Amen. When they when they died, the Bible said King he had sent out the next bunch again. Amen, someone. Amen. 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 The king was trying to intimidate him. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Because Elijah was troubling a whole nation. One man and God, one man that seek God, one man walking with God began to trouble a whole nation. Drove through the land. Amen, somebody. Amen. Elijah looked at them again. He said, If I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume all of you. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 The fire came down and consumed them. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. And they said they took much. They, get, they, learn, they learn how to approach a man of God. Amen. They learn how to speak to a man of God. Yeah. They learn how to approach a prophet of God. Go ahead. The third batch that came out. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. I said the third batch 
Elisha came out to set the circle of the city, then next to death, die. Let's do something that they didn't do. Amen. All of them went on the knees. Elijah upon a tree. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. And the leader went out. Amen. And he said, listen, he said, I have served the God of Amen of your forefathers. Yeah. I have not departed. Yeah. I am a servant of God. Yeah. I know that you are a man of God. Please come and receive the message of the king. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Elijah came down and met him. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 You're going to change your attitude. You got to change the next, the next two com company was destroyed. Yeah. In the same way, Elijah's attitude changed. Amen. He was acting out of faith. Yeah. Out of faith. Amen. So they said, are you living are you in faith? In faith. Fear of loss. Fear of death. Fear of your enemies. Fear of witchcraft. Fear of sorcery. Fear of who will find you of your man. Amen, somebody. Fear of who plotting against you. The Bible says for the weapons of our warfare, for they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold and the casting down of every imagination. If God shall be for you, who shall be against you? Amen, somebody. If God is with you, then there's no one that can be against you. But when you begin to live and walk in fear, amen, somebody. You start to hide. You are afraid to speak. You are afraid to pray. You are afraid. You are afraid to you want to get off your bed. You don't even want to go to work. Amen, somebody. Yeah, amen, somebody. You get sick and doctors can't even find the problem. Satan said you in spirit prison. Amen. Bung you up, lock you up. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Verses 5, and as he lay and slept on the juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake, bacon, amen, on the coals and a cruise of water, and, and his head. And he did eat and drink, and an aid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time, and touched him, and said, Arise and eat. Because the journey is too great for them. Tell me, Mr. When you begin to live in fear of your enemies, fear of your trials, your tribulations, fear of your Goliaths, Amen, somebody. The journey is going to be great and long and hard. Because fear will say where God doesn't want you. Amen. Fear will steal your peace. Amen. Because that which is not of faith is sin. Amen. And faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And when God's word is absent from our hearts, there is fear, there is torment, there is doubt. Yeah. Yeah. There is an unbelieving heart. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb, the mount of God. So he didn't went in the strength of God, he went in the strength of the food that was given. You no longer, when we begin to operate in fear and in doubt and unbelief, you are no, you're no longer living by the faith of the Son of God. You are living by your works, by your food, by what you have. The Bible says, for man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the living God. When you are walking and living in fear and intimidation and in depression and oppression, you are not living by the word of God. You are not living by the power of God. You are living by your bread. Amen. Elijah, the strength he received was from the food that was given by the mercy of God. Before he was living by the power and strength of God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And the Bible said, and he came thither unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word 
of the Lord came to him and said unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? Amen, somebody. Amen. What, what? Do we know? Some people say, well, is God who sent you there? Yes, God sent you there because you were disobedient. God didn't want you there. You went there because you couldn't believe in him. You couldn't trust in him. Amen. The angel strengthened him for a long, hard journey. Amen. Amen, yeah. Amen somebody. Amen. Because the Lord knew his fear would have sent him into that cave. Amen. 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 amen somebody amen. God didn't amen God didn't strengthen him for him to go there God strengthened him that he will survive on his way there amen. Amen. and that's some of us we are barely surviving amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? I said we are barely surviving. We are living by God's mercy rather than by God's grace. We are, our, our spiritual life is barely surviving. Our walk with God is barely surviving. The anointing in our life is barely surviving. Our blessing is barely surviving. Our strength is barely surviving. God didn't send him there because he wanted him there. He didn't take him because he wanted him there. He said him that he will survive. Amen, someone. But God do not want us to only survive, he wants us to conquer. Yeah. Then they will say, God doesn't want you just to survive, Robert. He wants you to conquer. What's the difference? What's the difference in the Elijah of faith and the Elijah of fear? The Elijah of faith conquered what? 400 prophets and caught fire from heaven. Destroyed companies of the armies that came to him Amen. and approached him in a manner that he didn't like or seem disrespectful. Amen. And the Elijah of fear run from one woman, driven in a cave, and God had to come and ask him, What are you doing here? here? Amen. Third day, say, what are you doing here? Are you in the place God wants you? Then they say, Are you in the place? God wants you. Yes. Are you in the relationship God wants you? Yes. Some of you will be quiet that. Are you in the relationship yes. that God wants you in? Yes. Yes. Place. Yes. You are in the wrong place. Yes. 
He might be visiting the Obia shop once a week. <laughs> Three times a month. Amen. Yes. Might be doing things nobody is saying. Ask him what you're doing there. What you're doing there? You might be putting your mouth in people's business. What are you doing there? What what are you doing there? Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Elijah so was to be blessed and powerful and mighty. Amen. Like he was to touch him, come against him, and he's like anointing God placed upon him. But because he acted to change, because of fear and doubt. Amen, somebody. His destiny began, started to be altered. Amen. That God wanted to send him, what God wanted to do with him. Amen. His destiny was altered. Yeah. He ends up in a cave. Oh, Amen, somebody. Amen. He ends up there 40 days and 40 nights, no food, no water. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So he because of a fast. That wasn't a fast. That was starvation. You were disobedient. Because you, you can't be disobedient and see God at the same time. Amen. And that's a believers. Amen. Say, so go and fast and pray and seek God. And let them go and fast and pray and seek God. And come and more possess and more bomb than before. Because they didn't change their attitude and their fast. They didn't correct what caused them to fail in the first place. You're failing your sin against God. And you think by fasting and praying, when you come out, you're blessed and anointed once again. That is, I don't walk, so it's not by any walk of righteousness shall any man be saved. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Not by the works of our fast. Amen. We fast through obedience. Amen. Not thinking that by fasting we will cover our sins. Amen. Some of you went quiet tonight. Amen. Some of you went on a fast like that. Amen. Wait and commit a few sins, a few wrong doings, and say, "All right, Lord." Fast. I'm going to fast for these sins. Amen, somebody. Amen. You amen, somebody. Amen. Without repenting and correcting. I mean, they come on the fast, they go back and do the same thing. The power they come on the fast, they desire to get stronger. Amen. They crave it, get stronger. Awesome. They hunger, get stronger. Amen. They call, get sweeter. Amen. Amen. Go on. He said, we fast and we have not. We pray and we have not. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Today we say, what you doing here? What, what you doing here? Yeah. What you doing here? What you doing here? That's what God asked him. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. 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 And he said, I have been very zealous for the Lord of hosts. Amen, somebody. For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant and thrown down thy altars and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left. And they seek my life to take it away. Amen, somebody. God asked him, what are you doing here? And his answer, Lord, I have been very zealous for you. I have been seeking you, I have been praying, I have been fasting, I have been paying my tithes. I have been coming to the home to the Lord. Amen, someone. Amen. Amen. But the question God asked him, what he is doing there? Yeah. God didn't ask him what he did before and he asked him what he is doing now. Amen. Then they say, God did not ask him what he has done in the past. He is asking, what are you doing now? Thirty-eight percent. God is not asking what you did a year ago, three years ago, five years ago. He's asking, what are you doing now? Amen, Amen. someone. Amen. Amen. Amen, someone. The food that I ate five days ago cannot sustain me today. 
Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Amen. By the time you eat in the morning, by twelve, you want to cook your hungry again. Amen. You want something to eat. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. The same what you, what you did for God years ago is not enough for today. Amen. Oh, it's not enough for today. Amen. I can say, Lord, I live righteous for, for five years. You may have did the sin. Huh? Does that make sense? You may have to free up yourself. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Get here and say, God is asking you, what are you doing now? What are you doing with this world now? What are you doing with this life now? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Ask him and say, what are you doing for God right now? God is your kid. They want to do something for him right now. What are you doing right now? Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We almost come into that close. We call it coming to that close. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Tell me what the Lord is asking you. What? Are you doing for him now? Some of us get too busy to do anything for God. We don't even need to step to somebody. We don't try to save us here. You know why? Because we know that we are our life on the right. We know that we are not doing what we call to do. We both have the conviction behind it. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 How many of you see the Lord at your home? You see the Lord for change. And your children change for your brother, your sister, your family. They get in their knees and they begin to cry out and they begin to see the face of God. Day by day until you see the power of God move. Amen. The most in my grace, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for health and strength. Amen. I thank you for your blessings. Thank you for my home, my family. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. But we do not seek Him. So we can hear from Him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And He said, I have been very zealous for the Lord God of us. For the children of Israel have forsaken my covenant, thrown down my altars, slain my prophets with the sword. And I, even I only am Him. And they seek my life to take it away. Verses 11, and he said, Go forth and stand up at the mount before the Lord. Behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break it in pieces, and the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. Amen. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. Elijah sat up beside himself. How many people have ever reached out to each other? Please, sorry, yes, be honest. Be honest. God, why have to go to this thing? Why does that happen to me? Why this, why that? Why this one against me? Why I can't pay my bills? Why you don't leave me, Lord? Why you only come to me? Why you only give me trouble? Why you only put all this strain on me? Be honest, take your hands, how dare you of you? Shut up, please, so if you're seven times. Come on, lift your hands up. Every one of us at some point or the other. Just start to feel sorry for yourself. I start to complain, I start to move on. When pressure arrives, faith and hope goes out the door. Faith and depression steps in. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Elijah was like that. Elijah said, Look, you see what they're doing, God? I'm out here. Only I left. It's me alone. Everybody is dead. All the other prophets gone. Yeah. They get killed. They're gone. They're gone through. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 And that's how we think of it. Amen. 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 You feel like a target, you feel battered through, you feel like it's only you alone. And that's how sin, I don't want you to feel. Everybody else, there, Lord. This Jesus, he, he killed 
qu'il est du côté de Dieu, le monde. Amen, Amen. 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 Tell him, so what are you doing here? And if God asks you that, what are you going to tell him? God asks Elijah that Elijah told the Lord, he said, I hear him because you kill everybody already. If God asks you, what are you doing in the place that is right now? Amen, say, mother. And amen. What would be your answer? What do you tell him? What? Amen, someone. Amen. 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 So, what would you tell him? What would you ask you? What are you doing in that place? What are you doing in that cave? Will you do that with Elijah? And make all type of excuses. Amen, son. Amen. Amen, son. Amen. 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 It is, it is easy to point out all the troubles in your life. Tell say it is easy to point out all the troubles in your life. All the battles in your life. All the hurt, all the pain. All the struggle. All who is against you. All your enemies. It is easy. Amen, someone. Amen, Amen someone. Amen. 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 But it is every day that the just shall live by faith. by faith. And God will want you to speak a word of faith. Amen. So today, it's time to begin to speak a word of faith. It's time to begin to, to believe in what you are speaking. Now I must speak a word of faith and we don't believe it. You know why we speak it? Because, amen, we, we are ashamed. Amen. We don't want nobody to know how we really feel inside. Amen. But let me tell you something. God knows what you really feel inside. Amen. And Satan knows what you really feel inside. Amen. And you know if you're really speaking a faith word from your heart. Amen. Or if you're speaking because you don't want nobody to think that you're weak. Amen. 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 And Elijah started to do a look for God. Then he never said, he started to look for God. How many of you in your situation he started to look for God? Amen. Yes, many of you started to look for God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. He started to look for God. He said, Lord, I want a word tonight about this man, Father. I want a word. Is this the man for me? What I live with him, my future with him. Lord, is this the man for me? Amen. We deliver with him when you have three children with him when you're asking God if that's a man for you. Tell me if that's right. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. You want you want to hear from God like Elijah? Because he in fear, he battered, he bruised, he afraid. This is about coming for him. He asking God. He want to hear from God. He want God to talk to him. He want God to tell him what to do. God didn't tell him that when he called fire from heaven to destroy the, the prophets of it. He was led by faith and power. The anointing of God was upon him. It, the anointing will drive you to do what you have been called to do. Amen. Let me tell you something. When the anointing of God is upon you, and God has called you for a certain plan and purpose, it will drive you yeah. to do what you are called to do. The Bible said that Jesus was driven by the Spirit of God in the wilderness to fast and pray. Yeah. Oh, when you are walking in the alignment of God's anointing, it will drive you to God's plan and purpose. Amen. You won't be in doubt and fear. You won't be wondering, God, I want direction. Yeah. The, the reason why you want direction because you because you are lost. Amen. Oh, yeah. Then they never said the reason we want direction because we are lost. And it's important to be recognized when we need direction because we are lost. Amen. Amen. And you want, amen, somebody. Amen. Elijah, he got himself lost. He got his heart lost. He, he got his, his mission mixed up. Because fear 
filled his life. Depression filled his life. Anxiety filled his life. Amen, someone. I believe in the agenda that keep every noisy hey, that's out of the race. Yeah. Amen, someone. Instead of the turning, he will make a spot of hide inside that cave. Amen, someone. Amen, someone. Amen. 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 I know that people who are afraid to sleep because they're afraid to die. Yeah. Yeah. They're afraid. Amen. Not too long with the heart and anxiety. They start, they start to beat, beat, beat. And, and they're afraid to sleep because they're afraid they're going to die. Some of them are demon souls looking night. Amen, somebody. They empty all the bless all in the head, the foot, the back. They rub down yourself. And they and the fall asleep with one eye so. <laughs> some, some, amen, somebody. Amen. Some spirit attacking in the night. Rise up, God has called to be strong, yeah. powerful, and mighty. Jesus said, I beheld Satan like a lightning fall from heaven and said, Behold, I've given you all power over the powers of the enemy, that nothing in the least shall harm you. This is, this is how Elijah was operating before Jezebel. He believed nothing will harm him. Amen. He's looking for God in the winds. He's looking for God in the good faith. He's looking to, for God to do some great thing to appear to him. We're looking for God to call out your name. We're looking for a vision. God give me a vision to my Lord. He might be sincere with it. They want a vision. You want a dream. You want some direction from God. But listen to me. The greatest direction you can find is in God's road. The greatest prophecy you can get is in God's road. The word of God is the most sure word of prophecy. When you are walking and living right, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 And why are you looking in the, in the, in the winds and the good picks and the mountains and the rocks? Amen, somebody. And in the wind, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. The Bible says, what is this word? And after the old pit, they fire. They're looking in the fire and God is coming the fire. Amen, somebody. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, it's still a small voice. Yeah. So even looking for something great to happen to them, before they answer the call, before they get their life right. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So you've been looking for a big visitation from God, some great prophecy from God. Some great something from God. Elijah was looking for God to come in the fire and the wind and he would be talking to a rock. The Bible said God spoke to him through a still small voice. Amen. And then they said, listen, this is the voice of God. I'm speaking to your heart. Amen. 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 The reason why we are being deceived. Yeah. Amen. Come down. Amen. Our nation called the commander. Fire crackers all in your head. Smoke coming out all of the glass. Amen. Tell your back a cup number. And you're taking your wives too. Yes. I don't talk about things that don't talk about things that I know. Amen. 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 Because they operate by some media spirit, black magic, and they come in the name of God. Amen. And because we don't know the word of God, we cannot discern what is of God. Amen. Amen. What glory we can't get it with? Uh, amen, so by a smoke coming out some water. Who can deliver? Who can heal? Who can save? And when we see that, this man has power. I know 
of you and come back to their sin. The world no man commander to get that prophecy. Then it brings back 600,000 dollars. A month later they come back to their sin with green, blue, black and red. Blood no can take a sick thing broken on the foot. He didn't have no, no, no command of power to cast out demons. They heal the sick because the kingdom of darkness is not divided. It doesn't go among itself. The only thing it does is bound you up more and more. Yeah. You're looking for God to come and open a big flash again. And God is speaking to your heart. Your heart is the altar. God is speaking to your heart by the word of God. And you wouldn't listen. You know what you have to do and you would do it. Yeah. Yeah. You only want some confirmation, Lord. If this is you, Father, if this is you, I'm going to be able to pray. Let me see seven dots. Let's try that. God, if this is you, then talk it to me right now. So I cut this Bible. <laughs> I open and I cut it. Yeah. Take my word and confirm what you have to do. Uh -huh. Amen, yeah. someone. Yeah. God speak in your heart. And you refuse to listen. You refuse to obey. Yeah. You're looking for some big confirmation. Yeah. So for you to obey God, God has to visit you every time. He had to carry down by the river of Jordan and Park Jordan for you and mind you and see every day. God talking to your heart. Speaking to your heart and you have to speak. You, you know what you have to do. But you don't want to do it. Today we say you know what you have to do. You know what you have to do, but you're still looking for confirmation. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 I know waiting. And I see things that are happening, so I go and fast and pray one time. Amen. 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 I see a man almost bounce spinning. Next year, go to this verse. Say, Lord, I'm going to do wrong, Father. Show me. Show me, Lord. I don't wait till I get in the accident. The coming home is going to be crutches. Alright. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. The moment I feel something wrong, I don't even until I know what it is. I stay in the presence of God until I can find out what it is. God is speaking to your heart. You know what you have to do. Do it. Speak it to your heart. Amen. Amen, someone. You know what you have to do. Do it. Don't look, look for no confirmation. Some of us going in the wrong places, doing the wrong things, interacting with the wrong people, talking the wrong things. Amen. In that list thing. And we wait to be five years in trouble and then come to God. Amen. Amen. God is speaking to you through the still, small voice. Amen. 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 Before we begin to tonight, we're going to pick up the nice title of the